So just a bit of background to the, the results we're seeing on, the, on this board. This is based on the uh, CPT data, the, the central progeny test. So that's where we're taking in stock grams every year um, from land plus breeders and using those to make as commercial yews uh, and seeing how they're performing. So we split the data up um, over for the three years of data. So uh, I'm going to go one star. Um, but I'm, I'm sure say these star ratings are before maintenance, so before any data was you know included in, in into the evaluation. One star versus animals were five star. Um, so on the replacement index mortality, so the one star animals, and again, so this is one animals were one star before mating, so we're like based on uh, this is where a breeder would be making a breeding decision. So those those yews then went on to have 16.6 percent mortality versus the five stars that went on to have uh, 9.6 mortality. So you can see uh, a big difference uh, in the number of, uh, of dead lambs showing up there. Uh, on the number of lambs born in, uh, so again, this this would be from scan results. Um, so the the one star scan is 1.68 versus the 1.81. So you're talking was it close to 0 0.1, 1, 3 years so so of a lamb each. So for every 100 ewes, um, you're you're looking to get an extra 13 lambs um, per scan. Again, pulled down in the right direction and, and quite a significant difference. On the young mature weight then, so you'll see the three of these are uh, included in the replacement index. In the young mature weight, the one star yews um, are on average of 73.4 kilos, and the five star yews were on average of 69.2 kilos. Um, so some people might say that's going in the wrong direction, um, but in actual fact, that's your, 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 your smaller yew um, is more, efic more efficient. Um, now, it's, we're not, it's not that we're trying to say we're trying to breed smaller yews. Um, even as in the current index, as it stands, you will sure we will probably continue to increase the small bit. But what we're just doing is trying to slow it down. So there's a, there's a three, three and a half kilo difference there in those yields. So that's a slightly smaller yield, producing more lambs um, and having less dead lambs. So when you combine all that together, um, you start to see you start to see significant differences. Uh, on the lambing difficulty then. Yeah, there's a uh, there's about thirteen percent on the difference as well. Again, huge difference when it comes to on a commercial situation. Uh, but dealing with big big numbers of sheep. Um, and then on the quantity weight and the reading weight, you're seeing positives uh, on the on the five star versus the one star as well. So you're seeing an extra an extra two two um, kilos there as well. For this particular um, study here, there's about seventeen percent in the difference. You can um, between your ones and fives, so you could say if you made it your five and fives versus your one and ones, you're going to end up with a 17 percent um, more lamb come weaning time. Um, so, like again, uh, just to uh, just to summarise again, like you know, see, but you know, your five stars versus your one stars, um, they've ended up with more lambs alive, um, with less lamb difficulty, larger litter sizes. Um, or the slightly smaller ewes that are producing heavier lambs. So, you know, it's, it's to try and broaden out the thinking as to what we're trying to achieve, yes, we're trying to achieve, you know, genetic gain or get genetic gain in each of the pedigree flocks, but, you know, we're looking at a, almost at a, at a national scale, you know, we could apply these, or we could apply these sorts of differences on a national scale, it would have a huge, huge, um, it would have a huge impact uh, on the industry.